Okay. Uh, about to talk about this trailer I saw earlier and uh, wrap it up for tonight. Um, oh, I'm not sure what time you guys are watching this. Uh, I don't know if it's morning, afternoon, or whatever. I've been at it, just pushing out these movie reviews. Um, uh, I need to get back to that, get back to what I do. Um, so, pretty much, the Five Bloods trailer, it dropped today. A Spike Lee joint film. So, let me go ahead and read you this cast real quick. Real quick. Um, Chadwick Boseman. I'm already sold. So, um, that's my boy. Uh, okay, so let's go. Keep going. Uh, Jasper, I can't pronounce his last name. I don't want to butcher it. Um, Jean Reno, who, he's a familiar face. You guys might look up like, oh, okay. I'm like, yeah, I know him. So, Jonathan Majors. Delroy Lindo, the OG. Yes. Um, Paul Walter Hauser, I think that's how you pronounce the name. No Than Van, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Clark Peters, Melanie Theory, um, don't want to butcher these people's name, I apologize. Norm Lewis, oh man, he's in this movie too. Uh, Giancarlo Esposito, uh, he's, <laughs> he is, um, oh gosh, what's his name from Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad, um, Los Pollos Locos guy, uh, Gus Frigg, that's, that's, that's what that is. And Isaiah Whitlock Jr., who, so pretty much, let me see. Um, it's dating during the during the uh, Vietnam War. Of course, Spike Lee is directing it. So let me see. Trying to find a synopsis for it to give you a better feel for it. So what? Because I don't want to tell you wrong, and I can damn but. Once I tell you this, then I can kind of, you know, break down what the film, what it seems is, um, what it's about. But it does come out June twelfth on Netflix, so it can't June can't come here soon enough. Cause I want to enjoy this film. It looks like a a very awesome black cast. Um, let me see. Uh, I'm trying to find it. If not, then I'm gonna just have to go off based off what uh what um I'm checking out. What I mean what I um thought from the trailer. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so four African American vets battled the forces of man and nature when they return to Vietnam, seeking the remains of their fallen squad leader and the gold fortune he helped them hide. So, um, okay, yeah, so that's what I got from the trailer so far. Chad with Bozeman. I know everybody was saying how they felt Chad was looking real sick. He didn't look like it was himself. So, um, people were scared. It was an uproar ca caused on social media. Uh, I reminded myself that I wasn't afraid for Chad because I remember him saying that he was preparing himself for a movie. I know it was one movie about how he's supposed to be a samurai or something. Don't quote me on that, but it was something he's supposed to be, some type of warrior. And he had to do some type of transformation with his body. And also with this film, if you guys got, got go and see the trailer, I can't play the trailer because there's so much music copyright. And I'm not trying to continue to play this music that don't belong to me because I ain't trying to get in trouble and I got time for that. I'm a young man with this beard. I can't, come on, I'm wearing a Dragon Ball Z shirt. I can't afford stuff. <laughs> so, anyways, so yeah, so I remember that when Chad was said that. And so for this film, it fits into his, his body weight and the way his type fits into, I guess, what he's going to do uh, soon with the other film he's, he's going to uh, be a part of. After the whole little COVID, I can't say it's gonna be over, but but uh, it fits into yeah. excuse me, sorry, I've been yawning on these videos a lot. I've been pushing this stuff out late. I've been playing the video game. I need to stop. This, man. I'm trying to pray for your boy. So, uh, but yeah, it fits into what Chad was trying to do. So he's that leader that these that the other soldiers are coming back to find and help find. Um, I believe they were one of the very first black um, 
soldier army men in the Viet Vietnam Viet War Vietnam War. And so, you know, you see the old guys like Delroy, Lindo, and Isaiah and all of them. And, of course, they're older, and they mix in with these other younger guys, fairly younger guys, and they're going in there to help save their, their uh, old squad leader. And so the squad leader has this treasure. I remember hearing Chadwick says something about this treasure, and he's saying, we need to give this treasure back to our people. And for what it says, it, it seems as if that they're saying that we've been fighting for the, the white man's war, and every time we go back home, we're still oppressed. We need to take this money, this treasure, whatever, sneak it back into where we live and share with our people. Forget what these, what you know, what they're doing, what they're talking about. This should be for us. We put our life on the line, and we go back, and we still getting treated like crap. That's what I got from it. And that's what I got from you know uh, one or two trailer, other trailer breakdowns. I I, I looked at because. Um, it, it seems like um, it's going to be a really great movie, and I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, June can't come here enough. So um, just type in, you know, the Five Blood Spike Lee movie trailer. You'll see it, and it looks good. Um, man, it looks good. Uh, it's a war movie. I haven't seen a war movie in a while. Uh, unless you want to call it, count, um, you know, Marvel, Apocalypse, Thanos, War, or whatever. I don't know, DC, War, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, a uh, war movie. And it looks pretty darn good. And um, I know you guys will enjoy it. So um, if you've seen the trailer, let's discuss it. Let's talk about it. Let me know what you guys think about it. And then when it comes out in June, I'll be ready to watch it. And I'll be ready to talk about the movie review. I know Spike Lee always delivers. He's been delivering. I still need, it's sad to say that I have not watched Black Klansman all the way through. And I need to go back and watch it. So with that being said, that just might be the next movie I might watch. I don't know. We will see. But until then, you guys have a good one. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share, and leave a comment if you want to discuss about this movie or anything else. And you guys be safe out there. Wash your hands. Wash yourself. Don't be dirty. Coronavirus is out there, and uh, we need to defeat this thing and get back to living our lives as normal as possible. Whatever our normal was, we need to try to get back to that. So you guys be safe out there. Uh, have a good one. Peace.